Now we will have a brief look at the most common types of loadings which are generally considered on beams. So the most common type is the point load which we have seen till now that is we are considering only a single point on the beam which is experiencing a force and that is called as the point load. Generally in actual practice this never happens. There is never a single point which is under the action of a load. There are always a number of points but for simplicity applications in which there are concentrated loads are considered as point loads. The next type of loading is called as the uniformly distributed load. So you can see over here an example of a simply supported beam having a uniformly distributed load which is basically the load is distributed throughout the span of the beam in a uniform manner. There is no single point which is under the action of a load. The whole span of the beam is under the action of the load. So generally UDL uniformly distributed load are specified in terms of force per distance. The next type of load is called as the uniformly varying load which is basically having a triangular profile in the loading. So uniformly distributed load have a rectangular profile in loading. Uniformly varying load have a triangular profile. So you can see over here a simply supported beam which is acted upon by uniformly varying load. At one point the load is maximum and other point the load is zero. The next type of load is called as the point moment only load which is basically only the action of a pure moment without any load. So only a moment is acting on the beam tending to rotate the beam and there is no load which is associated with it. So this is another type of loading which occurs on beams. An example of a uniformly distributed load can be basically any pressure which is acting on the beam. So that pressure is distributed along the area and hence it is uniform. An example of uniformly varying load can be one example can be hydrostatic pressure in a tank. So if you are considering the tank then the hydrostatic pressure will be maximum at the bottom and it will be minimum at or zero at the top. So that is a example of uniformly varying load. So the walls of the tank will undergo a uniformly varying load.